Okay, step two. <laughs> so now I've let my paint dry just a little bit. It's still damp. And I'm going to dip my paint into the white chalk paint. And I'm using cotton, Dixie Belle cotton. And just start, I go around the base making those blending that dark color and making the horizontal stripes around the base and this just works really well with an old beat up chip brush and i'm just softening the colors but i'm not losing any of the variation where you have a little bit of the darker and if you do if you get too carried away with the lighter paint we can always go back in there with some darker paint, but I wanted my bottles a little bit lighter, so I'm just kind of blending them in. So you've got that. Okay, then I'm gonna take my little sea sponge again, just a little bit of sea sponge, and I just start dabbing the paint, and it's blending all of this paint. I'm getting a really cool effect. So it really looks like cement. And these bottles like this, you can actually, if you get an old vase, um, you can use shades of brown and cream and create a pottery style look. Or um, you can just go with the cement style look whatever you like. But I'm really literally just dabbing in the white into this. So you have a nice blended look. And it is so super cool. All right. And as you do this, you're highlighting the texture is that not so cool? That looks just like an, a cement bottle. Like you poured the cement. I think it's just awesome. So your shades are gonna vary by um, the amount of shading and blending that you do. You can, like I said, use any color you like. I just wanted a cement look. Um, but you can literally do any color. And you basically only need an old jar, an old bottle, an old vase, anything, it can be hideous looking. You're gonna, you need Dixie Belle Slick Stick. You're gonna do a coat of that. Then you need Dixie Belle Mud. You're gonna do the coat like I showed you in the previous video. You're gonna let it dry. Then you need some chalk paint. It can be any chalk paint. We love Dixie Belle. I happen to be using some Annie Sloan tonight and Dixie Belle but any kind of chalk paint. And then you go in and you use, I used three colors. I used a white, a dark gray, and a light gray. Now you could really only use two. You could use a black or a dark gray and a white to create this look. I didn't need to use the two different shades of gray. I just did. Um, you could use blues, you could use reds, you could use browns and creams, whatever look you're trying to achieve you're the artist you can create this however you like it to go with your decor but it's just so cool um you're going to need a sea sponge a chip brush and then when i was all finished with mine i sealed it with a dixie bell gator hide and then i just brushed over some white wax now it didn't change the look of it too much but i feel like it adds that extra layer of um protection and y'all this texture it actually feels like a cement base it is so cool so i'm going to photograph it tonight do a little staged photo or i might have bethany do it tomorrow she's much better at photography than i am just to show y'all just how pretty it looks in an arrangement or a little vignette so i hope that you'll try this you only need a few products sea sponge chip brush Dixie Belle Mud, Dixie Belle Slick Stick, some chalk paint, and then Dixie Belle Gator Hide to seal it and protect the finish. And then you'll have a beautiful, beautiful piece of home decor out of the trash. And all of those products will go such a long way. You can use them over and over. You can create tons of bottles to gift. 
Now, if you will share this video, um, or both the posts that I did with both halves of the video, I will select a random winner of one of these really cool vases. So I know if you're local, you can pick it up. If you're not local, we'll ship it. But if you will share that, I will pick a winner and um, let y'all know in the next couple of days who won. So thank you so much. And I hope to see you soon. I'll be in the store all week. It's Easter week, so it'll be busy. So I hope I see you. Have a great night. See you later.